Good morning guys, it's Laurie from PassionatePettyPincher.com and I just realized I forgot to turn the video away around, so I'll do that in just a second. But if you would like to join us for the Eat at Home Freezer Cooking Challenge this week, use the code SUPPER at checkout, that's backwards, use the code SUPPER at checkout and you can check it out. I'm gonna fix this real fast. As you're hopping on, tell me good morning, tell me if you are freezer cooking with me this morning, y'all. If you have not done freezer cooking before, this is going to change your life. It's pretty amazing. I absolutely love it. It's kind of stressful. And I always say to myself, I'm like, I'm not going to do this again. And then when I do it, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's the best gift ever to myself. So it really is like one of those things that just totally gives you so much more time in the summertime. So our challenge this week is to make 25 meals, 25 meals, y'all use the code supper, 25 meals in our freezer bag so we will have them in the summer we can grill them we can bake them we can boil them we can do whatever with them it's super fun good morning michelle hey valerie hi denise guys also if you will hit the share this button if you have a friend who might love to learn how to freezer cook this is a game changer i promise so hit the share this button and we will give away a 25 dollars amazon gift card if we get some shares with that good morning stacy hi dixie in trinity florida i'm not sure where that's at okay let's go ahead and let's get started making some freezer meals um, I'm actually making the first one in my crock pot because we have to eat dinner tonight, right? So I'm super excited about this one because my husband loves sweet potatoes. So I showed him this one and he was pretty excited. Um, all I've got is I've got um, about two pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breast in there. Now I'm adding in a whole bunch of sweet potatoes. Now, um, I will tell you, I probably should have put those in first, but I think I'll be fine. Um, I am, I, you're supposed to peel the sweet potatoes. I did not peel them because I'm lazy um and so i think they're gonna be fine my husband is really the the sweet potato person who loves them how many of you guys have made sweet potatoes in the crock pot before um this would normally be a freezer bag recipe i would just do it in the freezer bag but like i said i'm gonna make it for dinner tonight because we have to actually eat so i thought this would be a fun one to try this is some butter five tablespoons of butter if you're putting it in your freezer bag you're just going to do the same thing we're going to stir it up we're gonna pour it over your stuff. If you're doing it in the freezer bag, just pour it over your things. We're gonna add a little salt and pepper, and one meal is done. So I'm gonna set this one aside, and I will start my crock pot in just a second, and I'm gonna scoot off some space over here. Well, did I get that? So let's see. I'm gonna move this one out of the way. The next meal we are gonna make is zesty easy slow cooker chicken fajitas these are so simple again you're just taking boneless skinless chicken breast um you don't even need the bag for this one this one's so easy to do we're gonna add in and i actually feel like i probably don't have enough chicken for all the green peppers and onions you're gonna add in the green peppers and onions that's a lot of green peppers and onions my daughter did the chopping yesterday i may hold back some of those because that's a lot then we're gonna add in a packet of taco seasoning now Tiffany says that if you're making this one in the Instant Pot, you go ahead and you add in some, um, basically, Rotel. I, it does not say you need to do it for your freezer meal. I think you could do it without anything else, but because I'm a little bit funny, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add in because I wanted to put a little moisture in. I don't think you have to add this. If anybody knows for sure, the recipe, if you do it in the Instant Pot, you're supposed to add the red gold. I'm a little worried about leaving it without liquid. Tiffany says it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. So if you have it, you can, it's up to you. I like some saucy chicken is what I like. So I'm willing to add in the stuff. Now what I do once I've finished a freezer bag, so this is freezer bag number one after we did the other one, is I double bag these. And I do use Ziploc. Um, you can also use like a store brand grocery plastic bag. I, I just don't want to have a bunch of freezer meals. That's also the reason I double up the bags because the last thing I wanna have is a freezer disaster in my freezer. So I go ahead and I double bag them just to make my life a little bit easier. So I stick the whole thing, recipe and all, is in there. You see how easy that is? Oh, thank you so much for sharing. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for sharing, guys. Don't forget, you hit the share this button. We will get, enter you to win a $25 Amazon gift card. If you would like to do freezer meals like we're doing right here, type in the word, or I'm sorry, use the code SUPPER at checkout. That will make these as little as like a dollar. 
and 20 cents a week, you guys. If you have not done these easy at home freezer meals before, she well, if you'll get all of her menu plans, including her freezer meals, we're cooking from the March, April, May, June, July freezer meals. So there you go. So type the word in supper at checkout if you'd like to join us. Okay, here's the next one. I'm gonna be smarter this time. So how many of you guys, give me a heart if you are on the other side of the screen watching me and you are doing this too. Give me a heart if you're doing it. If you are, that right there so you guys can see that because I want to make sure you get the discount. If you're doing it, give me a heart. One little quick tip is to get your stuff pre-bagged and that'll make your life a little bit easier. This one is kind of a messy one. This is slow cooker chicken chowder. I think this is a fun one to do. I, I love soup. Anybody else give me a heart or like if you love soup. So go ahead and get your bags doubled and ready to go. If you have the little cool thing, I got this on Amazon. It's kind of amazing. You're gonna add in one to two pounds of chicken tenders, a whole bag. This is gonna be a full bag, you guys. I'm a little worried. Of hash brown potatoes. So this is gonna be a very full bag. Then we're gonna add in two cans cream of chicken soup. Now, if you'd prefer not to use cream of chicken soup, Tiffany has a recipe on the menu plan that's an alternative to cream of chicken. You can make it at home for the sake of easiness in my life today. I am using cream of chicken soup because it's just easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. This is gonna make a ton. These menus, um, her menu plans feed, you can either choose the two to four family member, two to four people or five to eight. You'll get all of it when you sign up so you can choose either one. These do feed quite a few. Um, the freezer meals tend to feed five to eight. Um, which is nice, especially to have these meals done. You can split them into two bags if you have a smaller family. I know I've got a friend and that's what she does. Okay, so we added in 15 ounces of tomato sauce, um, one and a half tablespoons of chili powder. I'm totally guessing on this. Three garlic cloves, y'all know. Love me, my squeezed garlic. Best gift you can ever buy yourself. There we go. Buy this. It's This is my one splurge. It would be way easier not to use this, but oh my gosh, how lovely is that? Okay, you'll never chop my garlic again. Okay, so we've got all of those put in. Now we're just gonna go ahead, pop this off right here. Oh, and you know what? I'm gonna give myself a little room. This is where it gets scary, right here. Who's ready for this part? We also have to get three cups of milk into here, so I'm gonna go real slow. One option you could do, if you're concerned about adding the milk to the bag, which I am a little concerned, I'll be real honest, is you could um, make a note to yourself on the freezer bag to add milk in the day that you're cooking, because this is kind of scary. It's gonna be a really full bag, but it's gonna make it, I think. Let's see, we did it. Definitely get those pre-bagged before, though. If you're making this on the other side of the screen, you want to go ahead and you want to bag it, double bag before you start. Okay, there we go. Because otherwise, it's gonna be real hard to stick that sucker in a bag. Okay, so there's freezer meal number two. We've also got the one we've made already. So this is basically three meals in about less than 10 minutes. Um, I go ahead and I put everything together. Y'all look at that. Cheddar, chive, freezer, biscuits. I should have made those. Oh my gosh, those look so good. And they're all basic stuff that you probably have on hand. So there you go. Thank you so much guys for sharing. The milk freeze, the milk freeze is great, but if you're worried about filling up your bag, um, yeah, that'll just make it a little bit easier. Look at this, y'all. I am so glad I see so many. Can you guys, if you're new here and I haven't seen you before, would you give me a heart and let me know that you're here or give a comment and let me know you're here for the first time so I can say hello to you. I'm tickled to have so many folks on this morning. Okay, we're gonna scooch over. So there we go. Use the code SUPPER at checkout if you would like to try these freezer meals out. We're gonna move right on over. This one is very different. If you're making this, this is really important that you watch me. If you're making this one at home right now because you need to read the instructions on this one, this is different. This is slow, slow cooker pulled pork over cornbread. When you make it, you're gonna actually let this roast sit overnight. So that's why you're gonna watch. I'm gonna do this a little bit different than I typically do my freezer meals. And I'm so glad I read the directions this morning because otherwise I would have messed it up. If you're making this on the other side of the screen, I don't want you to mess it up. So we're gonna take our bag. We've got our roast right here. What I'm gonna do that's weird on this one is I'm gonna double bag. I'm gonna go ahead and do my double bag, okay? This is actually gonna have a triple bag. 
This is not normal to have this many bags. You can, I would not reuse the main bags, but you probably could reuse the bags that I'm outside if you're worried about using bags, because I agree. It does take up some bags, but think about if you go to the drive-thru because you don't have dinner made, how many bags of McDonald's are you wasting if you're doing it that way? Okay, so I'm gonna pre-bag this. And what you're gonna do, because this roast, you're actually gonna cook, can y'all see this? This roast, you're gonna cook it in the crock pot overnight, okay? Or at least for a full day. Then you add the sauce. So you add the sauce in later. So that's why this one's a little bit different. So I'm creating the sauce right here. And we're gonna add in um, one onion, two cups of ketchup or barbecue sauce. I'm using some that I got on sale. I'm trying to get rid of. And I am totally guesstimating. It's gonna be fine. Then you're gonna add in eight ounces of taco sauce. You don't wanna use salsa. You want eight ounces of taco sauce. I'm so glad Tiffany explained that. Thank you, Tiffany, if you're watching. I appreciate you telling me not to use taco sauce because I would have gotten the wrong thing. Then we're gonna add in two tablespoons of brown sugar. Two tablespoons of vinegar. And basically, this is like a really yummy homemade um, barbecue sauce. My friend, Mrs. Phipps, used to make, it was my friend Leah, Mrs. Phipps made the best barbecue and she made her own sauce. And I think this recipe is very similar to her sauce. She passed away a few years ago and she, Leah and I were best, best, best friends. And so every once in a while, Mr. Phipps watch, watches and it cracks me up. So Mr. Phipps, if you're watching, this, is, this reminds me of Mrs. Phipps. Okay, vinegar, Worcestershire. We're gonna add in a teaspoon of liquid smoke. I'm just gonna do some guests in here. Then we're gonna add in a teaspoon of oregano, a teaspoon of pepper. Gotta figure out where I left my pepper at when I moved it. There it is right there. You had this one for supper last night and it was delicious. I'm so glad. I love homemade sauce. Okay, then we're gonna do the breath pepper. We're gonna do a tablespoon of dry mustard and a teaspoon of garlic powder. Oh, y'all, the garlic is getting to me a little bit up here. It's a little, it's real spicy on my end right now. Okay, so we're gonna add all that in. Now watch how I'm gonna do this freezer bag because again, this is the one that you're gonna cook this, you're gonna cook, cook this roast separately than the other one. Someone asked what kind of vinegar I use. I use um, balsamic vinegar because that's what I had. It won't matter, I don't think, too much. Now, I do wanna give this a good squeeze around. I'm gonna squeeze it. I don't know that it matters, but you know, it doesn't hurt. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add that in. Now remember, because I'm gonna cook the roast separately, I'm just gonna pop this all down into the bag, okay? Super easy, and then I'm gonna add this the directions, and she's got all the directions that you need. Type the word supper to save 30% on these menu plans. There's everything you need. I'm gonna pop it all in the bag together. And I just meal, made meal number four because I've made three here for freezer bags, one for actual dinner tonight. So there's four meals. Now we're gonna scoot and do the next one is gonna be zesty slow cooker pork chops. And let's see, it's taken me, I've been on for less than 15 minutes. Now I did do some prep work ahead of time, but you can see how easy these meals are gonna be to do, that this is totally doable. Um, on this one, this one does have a few more ingredients. So this has, calls for, let me go ahead and get my bag ready. This calls for um, salt, paprika, cayenne, onion powder, thyme, pepper, garlic powder, um, and pork chops. So I've got my three pounds of pork chops in my bag. And here's the thing that I love about these meals. A lot of them are pretty basic, healthy meals. So like somebody said to me yesterday, Laurie, what if I'm eating keto, would these work? Well, like this recipe is totally keto. Like there's nothing to it that isn't okay for you. Um, maybe the onion, I guess. I, there might be carbs in onions, I'm not sure. But it's basically pretty okay. So basically I'm gonna stick in my um, pork chops. I'm gonna add in my onion. I'm gonna add four teaspoons of salt. This is the wrong spoon. Oh, hang on. Oh, I can't find the right spoon this morning. 
That's all the small ones. Okay, we're just gonna use it. We're just gonna go with it. I'm gonna add double. One, two, three, four. This is five, six. Ah, there we go. That was a lot of salt. So I need eight teaspoons or four teaspoons. That was a half teaspoon, so that worked. For anybody who's freaking out that I use way too much salt, um, maybe it'll cook out. There we go. There's a teaspoon of cayenne, two teaspoons of paprika. And again, I'm using a half teaspoon, so I'm gonna to use four. A teaspoon of onion powder. A teaspoon of garlic powder. Where did I put my garlic powder? I'm gonna just add in some minced garlic since I've got that right here. I don't see my garlic powder fast. Um, and I am so like, I cook easy. I don't stress too much. If we miss the wrong thing, right thing, typically it works out. Stuff like that doesn't bother me too much. And then we're gonna add in a half teaspoon of black pepper. Okay, so that's it, y'all. We just made all of our meals. How many of you guys would love to make some lemon dessert with me next? We're gonna make lemon dessert. You don't have to stick around for dessert, but I like dessert best. And this dessert, I love that Tiffany includes a dessert recipe each week as well. So um, my family is super excited because I told my husband what's for dinner tonight and those brown sugar pork chops plus the lemon dessert plus a salad, green beans and some biscuits. Y'all, we are eating good tonight. There we go. So how long is that? Let's see, I, yes, I love that. Okay, can you freeze the dessert? I, you might be able to freeze the dessert. How many of y'all would like to go see the dessert? Okay, so here's our four meals. I just wanna show you guys. Literally, we made those in, actually it's five meals. We made those, I got on live at 9.05 because I was late. So in 17 minutes, we just made five meals. Now, obviously I did some prep work ahead of time. So I don't wanna tell you that you can do it in 17 minutes. But I'm not gonna have to worry about dinner. And I love that. Okay, I'm gonna tell you, ah, there goes my phone. Hang on, y'all. Are you still there? There we go. Okay, give me a harder like. There's the disaster. That's what it looks like. It's okay. You can do this. You just bought your annual subscription on Friday. I am so excited that you got it. I can't read the rest of your comment right now. Okay, how many of you guys are ready to make this dessert? I will tell you, I have not done a lot of prep work for this one. So it's going to take me just a second. Hang on. Give me 30 seconds to get ready here, guys. Now, I wanna be a little bit healthier. So I'm using Smart Balance for the butter instead of regular butter. So um, you should, this takes a stick of butter. Like I said, I'm using Smart Balance instead, which is why it's kind of funky as it's working. I'm trying to be slightly healthier. Um, then we're gonna go ahead. So now what we're gonna do, I've never made this recipe. There is no, I may totally mess it up. I don't know, but it looks so good that I couldn't hate not to try it. Thank you, oh Amy, I'm so glad that you're here to watch it. Where do you buy, the, join the Facebook group? After you buy the annual plan, we will send you an email. I forgot to mention that. If you sign up for the annual plan, we will include you in our private Facebook group where we're making dinner all year long. Um, I will send you an email once you sign up within 24 hours. So it takes us a little while, but not too, too long. You're not sure that was a beef roast. Yes, it is, Sally, it was a beef roast. Um, you're exactly right. It said beef or, but I could use either beef or pork. I forgot, I got the wrong type of roast. I wish I had done the pork. Okay, we're making dessert now. This is, y'all, how many of you wish you were eating this for dessert tonight? Lemon cheesecake dessert. Give me a harder like if that would make your half family so happy. I'm super excited about this one um, because it's one that's not something I would normally make. So I'm kind of tickled about it. Like I said, I have not read the directions super close. I know that I'm supposed to dissolve the jello in hot water. So we're going to start with that. If you are on the other side of the screen and you are making this, you know what? We're just doing this together. If we mess it up, odds are we won't mess it up too badly. Oh my goodness, the lemon. You guys need to make this one. Can I just tell you that if you're not making this, you are missing out. And that's what I love about Tiffany's meal plans is you get the slow cooker meals, the whole food meals, the traditional meals, the no sugar, no flour meals, and you get desserts. So this smells really yummy. If you were lucky, you would be at my house tonight. Okay, we're gonna dissolve that and let it cool. Now we're gonna stir together the sugar 
and the graham cracker crumbs, which I actually already mixed this together. So this was, I believe I did this last night. So this was, I put in a tablespoon of sugar and two cups of graham cracker crumbs are already here. Now I've got a stick of melted butter. So I'm gonna go grab that. Stick of melted butter. And it says, stir the sugar and graham cracker crumbs together, add the butter and mix well. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and add the butter. I have not read this as well as I should, y'all, so pray that I don't mess this up terribly. Okay. Reserve one half cup for the topping. I feel like that's a lot of butter. I'm hoping that I didn't mess up by using the Smart Balance. The Smart Balance is definitely different. So, y'all, that feels like a lot. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add some graham crackers. So you guys, I was using the Smart Balance to be a little bit healthier, but I feel like maybe I used too much Smart Balance because that does not feel like the texture of the crumbs. Y'all read the directions and do it the way she says. Don't just make yourself up as you go. I don't think it'll mess up, but it's going to be fine. That feels like a better crumbly crust. I'm actually going to add a little bit more. Read the directions. Use what she says. I think I added too much butter. So now we're gonna have a really buttery. You guys, I think I doubled the butter, honestly. Like I said, read the directions first. I would totally just let this go and make a mistake on live, except that I really wanna eat this tonight because it just sounds too good to not do. So y'all read the instructions so that you're not sitting here doing what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna wash my hands super fast and then I'm gonna pound this down the bottom of this that looks about right that's the texture that I want I just know I don't want a texture that's like super um way too crumbly but that one works okay so read the directions don't come up with your own stuff because you'll mess it up I'm not here to tell you exactly how to do everything right but I will tell you that we got we have it done and that's worth it okay that still feels super wet but we're going to go with it because I don't want to make y'all watch me have a mistake. I promise I won't complain too much. My family, they'll eat it, I think. But it's definitely crumbly. This was totally me for not reading the directions correctly. Well, for trying to change up a recipe and help make it healthier. Smart Balance apparently does not work the same as butter. That's what we learned today. But it will be lighter and healthier for it. So I'm going to let it go. Okay, next thing we're going to do is... Add the butter and mix well, reserve one half cup for the topping, press into the pan, combine the cream cheese, sugar, and vanilla in a bowl. So I've got, this is, this is a cup of sugar. Now I'm gonna add, and y'all, I really was trying to be healthy here. Fat-free cream cheese, we'll see how it goes. One stick of butter is a half cup. Cindy, that's exactly what I did. I did exactly that, I put in a cup of butter. So I totally defeated the purpose of being healthy here because I just I just doubled the amount of butter. Oh, you guys. Y'all, I think I'm gonna be real honest right now. This needs more stuff. And I have to eat this. So I'm just gonna fix this right here. Can I fix this right here? If you guys are mean to me on Facebook Live, I will cry. But I wanna eat this and I feel like this still is way too it's not right. I did. You're exactly right. I was racing this morning as I was getting ready and I thought a cup of a stick of butter and I totally thought a cup. So y'all, we're just going to fix this right up here. Do not judge me. If you judge me, bless your heart. You've got too much time on your hands. We're going to just try to make this the best it can be because my family has to eat this and they will be sad. And I'm actually going to only use half of the crumbs because I don't want to defeat the purpose of being healthy, Dad Gummit. I'll throw out the rest, which is just annoying. Okay, for any of you who are watching, let me just tell you that this is the way reality happens. And if your house isn't like this, bless you. I want to come live with you. But this is how reality is at my house. Okay, how does that look? What do y'all think? Better? Thank you for the grace. Is there a contact email? Yes, you can send me an email at contact at passionatepennypincher.com. What do y'all think? Does that look crumbly enough to y'all? That was, I just knew, I was like, this is not right. 
trust Tiffany's recipes. Um, okay, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use half of this. I think that's a much better crust. There we go. Okay, let's go with this. It is easier to do it with your hands. I'm just gonna be real honest with you. That looks much better. Read the directions. Don't come up with your own stuff and last minute. Literally, guys, I had sent out you guys out the email this morning saying I'll be here on live at 9 a.m. And as soon as I did that, I had remembered that at the gym this morning, I thought to myself, well, you can make that recipe lighter if you just go ahead and use Smart Balance. And so when I had the butter set out, I was like, you know what? I almost used the butter. And then I was like, you know what? Y'all have to eat this stuff. And if I can make it a little bit lighter, for my family, especially for my sweet husband um, who has cholesterol issues. I thought, you know what, we're just gonna do that. So there we go. But I am gonna add a little bit more because really, it'll just make more, right? Okay, there we go. Y'all follow the directions, do not follow me. Okay, now <laughs> we're gonna combine the cream cheese, the sugar and the vanilla in a mixer bowl. I promise I do know how to cook, y'all. But I will tell you, if you've never cooked with like 900 people watching you, it's very bizarre. Think about when you go to church on Sunday morning and how many people there are in your church service. When it dawned on me that sometimes I do these lives and more people watch me on live than are sitting in my church building, I was like, oh my gosh, these people scare me. So I do get a little nervous and I mess things up just like everybody else does. Okay, here we go. Combine the cream cheese, the sugar, and the vanilla. I don't have any vanilla. I don't use vanilla a lot of times because I'm super cheap. Um, blend until well combined. I can do this part, I promise. Now I can read through your comments. I think I saved it. You used Smart Balance and it was fine. Where did you get the graham cracker crumbs? The graham cracker crumbs are from Kroger. They're just Kroger brands. Okay. Stir in the lemon jello. Let me give this a good mix. Okay, there we go. I'm just gonna add in my lemon jello. I didn't even know they made lemon jello, so I'm kind of excited about this one. I'm gonna add this in. I'm gonna make sure I get everything in there. It dissolved pretty well. I wanna make sure I get all the gunk. I'm gonna mix this really slowly. Okay, pour onto it. Oh, you guys, this smells so delicious. I can't even wait for dessert tonight. I may just eat dessert today after the morning I've had. It calls for 12 ounces of um, Cool Whip. For whatever reason, they no longer sell 12 ounces, so I'm using eight plus four. I'm gonna make sure to get every bit of that out. We're just gonna stir this in. This is gonna be so yummy, you guys. And you wanna be gentle as you fold it in, because otherwise you'll have a big mess. Okay, we're gonna keep adding the rest of this one. I'm gonna get a spatula. So sometimes on Facebook Live, I don't stress too much, and if I mess something up, I figure it's okay because maybe we won't eat it. I'll give it away. But like this one, I've really wanted to eat, so I was like, I can't mess this one up. Sometimes I'll let things go and let it slide to try to pretend and be the cool girl over here on Facebook Live. But today, I got none of that because I'm eating this for dinner, for dessert, and for dinner. Never thought of using Jell-O for cheesecake. Do you cook the crust first? You do not. It's a no-bake recipe. Now I'm gonna read and make sure. Okay, it's a no-bake recipe. We're safe. You made me scared. Whoever asked me that, I was a little worried. It tastes good. It'll taste delicious. What dessert are you making? Oh my gosh, this is the best. Lemon cheesecake dessert. I can't even wait, especially because it's spring. And y'all, do you know what God gave us today in Ohio? He gave us a sunny, beautiful day. A Miss Florida girl who's grown up in the South and lived almost... 90% of her life in the South. I'm telling you what, this Ohio weather was doing me in yesterday. I was just depressed. So I am so thankful to have a beautiful day out today and a perfect day to eat this one. Okay, so now we're just gonna pour this over here. We're gonna let this sit in the fridge for six hours. It's 
still a little watery. I think I probably could have done a better job on the um, the jello. I think maybe make sure your jello is really warm and that everything dissolves well. This is gonna taste fine, I promise. Um, it's gonna look a little rough. My family will not care. They only care about what it looks, eats, tastes like. What it eats like, that's all they wanna know. We're gonna put this in. Y'all, I don't know if we're gonna get dessert every day this week. I told myself it'd be fun to try a few of the desserts. We'll see how that goes. Okay, so there we go. Four meals in freezer bags, one meal in the crock pot, dessert all made in 20 minutes using the Eat at Home menu plans. Let me show you them real fast. These are the recipes I've made. So we've got the easy slow cooker chicken tacos. Type the word in, check, well, click the link in the video. Type the word supper if you would like to join me and you can have these meals. We will be doing this every single day this week, Monday through Friday. If you are new here, I am so glad you're here. I'm really not a hot, well, yes, I really am a mess, but I get dinner done every night, which is like my biggest accomplishment. So, um, you know, it's good. If you wanna join us, we will be here every morning. My hair is wild this morning. It's been a wild morning and I thought I was organized. You wonder if you could just top it with cool, if you could. Oh, that's right, I'm supposed to put the crumbs on the top. Thank you, Tiffany, I will do that. You have son in Indiana too. If you have any questions, I'll stay on just for a second to answer those about the Eat at Home menu plans. I am so thankful for you guys. Thank you for coming and hanging out with me. Megan, it's gloomy there in Montana. I know, it's been so gloomy and miserable and I think we have one good day here and then the rain comes again tomorrow and I am just done. I love the way that my yard looks, but oh my gosh, it's a lot. Um, if you click the link, Abby, you might have to pop out and then pop back in. Reserved crust on top, I will put that back. Do the desserts, you have a lot of people still watching. Okay, Tabby, I may do some of the dessert. All right, let's see, Nikki, I may do desserts. Definitely make that keto friendly. Oh, Jennifer, can you make this keto friendly? I bet you could, because you could use Ready Whip. You could totally make this keto friendly. The jello would be fine. You could use sugar. I don't know what you would do for your graham cracker crumbs. I don't know. Um, your hair looks so good. Hey, um, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. If you would like the menu plans we're using, let me tell you what we're making tomorrow. And I'll tell you if I'm making dessert tomorrow. That's the big question, right? That's all we really want to know about is desserts. So tomorrow we are doing the April menu plans. When you sign up for the Eat at Home menu plans, when you hop in, because a lot of people have been asking me this, you're gonna sign up for the Eat at Home menu plans. You're gonna get a link from me. Use the code SUPPER when you go to check out because it's gonna save you 30%, which is an awesome deal on these menu plans. I promise you are gonna get so many options. You're not gonna just get freezer meal options. I just really love the freezer meals for summertime. You're gonna get the slow cooker, their whole food, the traditional, and the no sugar, no flour. Um, when you go to check out, at checkout, there's a place to put in a coupon code. You're gonna stick in the code SUPPER and you're gonna save 30%. So there you go. Um, but you'll get all the options. When you sign up, within the next 30 minutes after you sign up, you're gonna get an email that says, welcome to Eating at Home, we're so glad you're here. Here's your personal link. You click that link on the main page, right underneath the video, like there's a video, right underneath the video on the main page, you will see an option to print all of the lists we're using. So we're using the March, April, May, June, July freezer meals and so, those are, for tomorrow, they are gonna be April. We're gonna make slow cooker chicken vegetable soup, slow cooker ravioli. I'm probably making that one for dinner because that's my family's favorite. Um, smoked sausage and sweet potatoes, slow cooker balsamic chicken, and slow cooker lemon artichoke pork chops. So that's tomorrow's meals, if you're wondering. Your supper tonight is chicken burrito bowl. That sounds so good. For keto, use pork rinds instead, really. There's a nut crumb recipe. Oh, that would be yummy, Leanna, to do a nut crumb recipe. Hey, Susan, I'm so glad to see you this morning. I meant to reply to your email, Susan. Anyways, um, Shannon, you're going to rewatch doing your morning tour routine. I love that, Shannon. They are not all crock pot meals. So you get the you get all of the different options. You get this all when you sign up. I'm just using the crock pot options. The other thing I will tell you is a lot of these recipes you could make for other meals. Like a lot of them you could make in your um what's it called? You can make the recipes on the grill, you can make them on the stove top. Last week I took one of the freezer meals, I sauteed it, it was spaghetti sauce, I heated the spaghetti sauce, I put it over some noodles with meatballs. The meatballs were already in there. I added some mozzarella cheese, it was fantastic. So you can use lots of different things. What can you use instead of pork chops, Candace? It depends on what you're making. You probably use chicken, I would do chicken for sure. So when we sign up for anything, we get the link for the freezer meals. Yes, Jamin, when you sign up for the, when you click the link in the video, use the code SUPPER, you get all of the options. So you're gonna get not just 
those, you'll get everything. So that helps for sure. Cute new apron, thank you, Sally. And you can make them in the Instant Pot too, yeah. So there's lots of different options. They're super user-friendly, hope that helps. Um, there is a recipe for keto graham crackers. There you go. You're going to use your Crocktober book for meals. I love that idea, Megan. You love it, Shannon. You love the eating home meals. You've been using the no sugar, no flour. That's a great thing too. Thank you, Shannon, for reminding me. She has a no sugar, no flour option, which is fantastic. Okay, you guys, thank you guys so much for your kind encouragement. We will be back here tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. So come join me. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this crust back on. Um, since I didn't add the crumblies on the top, y'all think I should add the crumblies on the top? I don't know how many crumblies do I add on top. I just really wanna check these. I just wanna see what it's gonna look like. Oh yeah, happy family, happy dinner. Slightly messed up, still gonna work dinner. I'm gonna do it this way, this will be way easier. Okay, so for when you're doing this, guys, use your hands. It's just easier, that's just, it just is. Okay, and then I'm gonna probably just sit and eat these graham cracker crumbs all afternoon. Those are mine for fun. There we go. I'll be on at 9 a.m. Eastern time tomorrow morning. So it is 9.30 right now. So I will see you guys then. Get your freezer meals done and have an amazing day. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.